Okay, so if today's video does anywhere near as good as yesterday's video, I will definitely drop a top five sneaker or top five shoe video tomorrow. From yesterday's video, I got 700 subscribers yesterday and I've gotten over 600 today. Mind you, it's only noon right now. And then on Instagram, I got over 400 followers yesterday and I got over 400 today. And once again, it's only noon. Thank you to everyone that subscribed, that followed me on Instagram, ooh, and everyone that followed me on Twitch, because I got almost 300 followers off of that in a single day, so thank you so much. And a lot of people asked, I just want to clarify real quick, and then we will start the video. A lot of people asked about the Twitch, and they were saying, why are you doing Twitch? It's like gaming, blah, blah, blah. Well, the reason I'm doing Twitch is because I will be gaming, so I will be live streaming while I game, and I'll be able to talk to you guys while I do all that. So that's kind of my plan or my goal. But anyways, thank you to all you guys that support me. Like, seriously, the support lately has been overwhelming, and I just... I can't say thank you enough. I appreciate you. I like that sound. That means shit is from the start. It is 2017 and it's time to do the top five. Top five, top five, top five. Today we have the top five snapback slash top five hats. They used to be called top five snapback videos, but obviously now a days a lot of people are just wearing strapbacks and personally I'm rocking beanies, so I'm going to include some honorable mentions. I'm going to include some old vintage snapbacks that wouldn't make my top five because I don't wear them, but they are special near and dear to my heart. And then I'm also going to include some beanies because as you guys know, I do not really wear hats anymore. And the reason for that is because I'm growing my size out. So when I wear hats, it looks kind of awkward. The sides are sticking out. But what that means for you guys is I will be selling a lot of my hats very soon. Like literally a lot. I probably have like I don't, even, I don't even know, I couldn't even quite give you an estimate, maybe like 50 to 60, maybe even 70 hats. But I have been selling some recently, so maybe a little bit less. I just have a lot of hats, but I will be selling them shortly. Some of these hats will be sold on hfv.bigcartel.com or HFV Official, which is the Instagram. And then the other hats will be sold on Robotus and Poppy. I personally would recommend following them both. Anyways, before I get into the hats, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you change that. On this channel, I do unboxings, vlogs, and trips to the thrift. So if you want to see content such as that, make sure you hit that little red box logo down below that says subscribe inside of it. And then also join notification gang by turning on notifications and staying up to date or being notified every time I drop a video. Shout out to everyone that is a part of the notification gang, 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 gang. Gang, 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 gang. Also, before I get into it, if you guys want to see the top five sneaker video, top five, top five, top five, make sure you hit that like button down below. I have not recorded it yet, but if this video gets enough likes, then I'll record that and release that for you guys to show you guys my top five sneakers of 2016. Anyways, let's get into this top five, top five, top five. Snapback collection. Okay, so first on the list, we have the Flying Coffin Strapback slash Curve Rim slash Dad Hat, whatever you want to call it. Now, I personally do not wear this uh, strapback. I almost said snapback. And the reason for that is honestly not because it's not a good fitting hat, but because the profile is so low, it kind of sits off my head a little bit, so it feels a little bit weird. But if I had shorter hair, this would be an amazing hat, which is the main reason I haven't sold this hat because if I ever do cut my hair, I'm gonna want this hat in my collection. And I like the fact that it's not just a standard dad hat. You have these little ventilator things on the side to, I don't really know what to do actually, but Either way, I kind of like the little touch on the side. I think it's cool. I like Flying Coffin. Flying Coffin is a local Seattle brand, so it's kind of cool to support a local brand from Washington that I have supported for years, even before I knew they were from Washington. Number two on the list is definitely going to be the Fresh I Am Death, uh, I almost said Fresh I Am Death collab. I mean, Fresh I Am Mishka collab. You guys know I love this hat. I'm pretty sure this was in last year's top five as well. And although I haven't worn it as much this year, this is one of the few hats that I can still wear once my hair gets long because the profile is a little bit higher. But what I like about these hats is it's not a super high profile brim because I think high profile brims just look goofy to me. It just makes the person look like they have a really tall head. They look like a cone head or something. I don't know. I don't really like it. But these are kind of like a medium profile. They're not super low, but they're not super high. They're just kind of a nice height on the crown. And overall, I said brim earlier, didn't I? I think I said high profile brim. I meant high profile crown. But anyways, this is like a mid profile crown. And I really like how high it is. I like the fact that all these letters are stitched and these are all felt letters. The stitching is really nice. It's almost like stapled into here, but it's just like a really, really thick stitching. It looks like metal wire, but it's, I think it's just clear, honestly. I don't know. It's just like a really thick, like, thread that they stick through there. But overall, really good quality. Fresh I Am at Mishka. And also, this hat means a lot to me personally because I support both those brands. I've always been into streetwear and I definitely like 
You know, I, I like when two streetwear brands that I fucks with come together. I fucks with it. And on top of that, Fresh I Am actually sponsored me this year, which was kind of like a milestone for my YouTube. It meant a lot to me, and I was super happy to get that sponsorship because I've you know, I've been fucking with Fresh I Am for quite some time. Now the number three hat is one that you guys will probably all love and probably be low-key jealous because this hat is super dope and I tried this hat on. Okay, well before I actually talk about the hat and me trying it on, I'm just gonna show you guys the hat. But it's the FTP curve brim. It says F the population or fuck the population on the back. No censorship. F censorship, am I right? But anyways, uh, it has FTP embroidered on the front. Fuck the population embroidered on the back. I love these curve brims or these dad hats. These things are so comfortable. I don't like calling them dad hats. I called them curve brims before dad hats was even a, a phrase. If you guys have been following the channel for years, I've been putting on for curve brims. I've been telling you guys like curve brims are the future. And then actually what was really dope is I was putting on for curve brims and then I think it was uh, Matthew or Matthias or something like that. But he's been a supporter for a while. Yeah, basically he like linked me to a GQ article and he was like, yo, I already know that you've been putting on for curve brims forever and now GQ's hopping on. I was like, damn man. Thank you for giving credit, fam. I appreciate that. Not saying I started the wave because I was still a small YouTuber back then, but it's just nice, you know, when you're on some early. But I'm still on it. Don't get it twisted. Even though I don't really wear curve rims no more and I'm, you know, beanie boys all day, I still like the look of curve rims. I just think they look a lot cleaner than flat rims, but that's me personally. Anyways, I tried on the fucked FTP collab hat, right? And it said fucked the population across the front. It was in burgundy. And it was so amazing. The fit of that hat was so nice. And then Paul tried it on and he was like, oh my God, this thing is like next level. This is a really nice fitting hat. And I was like, I know man, but I sold that just because of the fact that I wasn't really wearing hats. And on top of that, it was burgundy and I knew it wasn't going to make it into like a staple part of my wardrobe. So when they dropped these hats, you know I had to get one, but I not only got one, you know, I had to get more than one. So I got two. I'm just kidding, I got three. You might think that this is the same one, but it's not. And of course I got four. Now I'll probably be selling the two khakis and the navy, or I'll be selling the black, the navy, and the khaki. I'm gonna keep either the khaki or the black. I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, but yeah, I'll be selling these on Robotus and Poppy, which is my resale account, as I said earlier. So if you guys want a chance to cop some of these, definitely follow that account. But yeah, these hats fit so freaking good, so I had to put this in the top five. Like I said, I'm gonna keep one for my personal, even though I'm not really wearing hats no more. If I ever cut my hair, I'm gonna want this hat in my collection, and I'll be really sad if I end up selling it, and then I don't have it anymore. Now we are down to the final two contestants, and this was kind of difficult, honestly, because uh, I love both these hats, but I'm going to have to put, you'll, you'll see why I picked the number one slot. It's just my personal selection. Anyways, my number two hat, is oh my goodness you guys have seen this countless times on my instagram but it's this right here this is the estate hat right here you got the estate angel embroidered on the front this angel is actually from the nirvana in utero album and as you guys know being from washington state nirvana is just like an important thing to like washington culture nirvana is like one of the biggest things to come out of washington and everyone from washington loves nirvana i don't even care if you like grunge or punk music you like Nirvana if you're from Washington. So it's kind of cool to have this. And I grew up listening to Nirvana. I love Nirvana. And so it's super dope now that they've kind of reached this like mainstream or like, I don't know, they've been somewhat revived lately. A lot of people that are into streetwear, or into fashion have really, they've cop things that are kind of like reminiscent or that pull from Nirvana. And I love anything that might encourage people to go listen to that band. But overall, that's why this has been a staple in my wardrobe. It's also a really nice fitting curb rim. Like I said, this is from Estate, which is a store that I have worked at and I work at kind of. I don't really work there as much because I haven't had as much time. A lot of people ask me that, but I still put on for Estate. I love Estate. The people that own Estate are my homies. So obviously I got to support them anyways. Anyways, I will leave a link to this hat down in the description below if you would like to order it. But yes, a really, really nice hat to have in the collection. Now the number one hat, the numero uno hat in my top five hats of 2016 is definitely going to be my personalized Tacoma City of Destiny cap right here, the strap back. And this was actually made by Crook of Hearts, so shout out to Crook of Hearts. I'm gonna leave a link to their Instagram down in the description below. Blah, 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 down in the description below. I really fucked with Crook of Hearts and I'm really glad that he actually did this for me, he came through. This hat means a lot to me personally. First of all, I love this colorway. I like this, like, it's almost like a light 
khaki wash but it's got all the printing in like a creme de la creme colorway so I like that a lot and then on the side it has Hilltop Eastside Oakland Park and Proctor I was born on the Hilltop and I was raised in Oakland Park South Side all day but anyway so that's why this hat for me just means a lot and then of course I got Eastside and Proctor the reason that I chose Eastside and Proctor as like the districts that I put on there is Eastside is an area now that's seeing a lot more crime because they've been raising the rent in like downtown Tacoma so a lot of people that may not be able to afford to live there that were previously like in impoverished conditions are being forced into Eastside Tacoma which really sucks and Eastside Tacoma has just gotten a lot worse over the years that's probably the only place in Tacoma that's gotten worse in terms of crime and then Proctor because as a kid I always wanted to move the Proctor district and I live right by the Proctor district I actually live even farther north than the Proctor district and I remember always Whenever I would go near the Proctor District, I would always just look at the houses there and I would just think like, man, these people got money, like these people are rich. Like I was, someday I want to be rich and successful and I want to live over here. Like Because when I was a kid, I was really poor. I didn't have all these things. And I've talked about that before, so I'm not going to get too in deep or too much in depth about that. But uh, yeah, man, so I don't know. Proctor was just always kind of like where I wanted to end up. And it's crazy now that I actually live in Ruston, which is even farther north than Proctor. And if you guys know or if you guys are from the area, you guys know... Rustin, Proctor, North and Tacoma is a really good area to live in. So I'm, I just feel blessed that I made it here. And although that might not be like the level of success for some people, some people might want to move to, you know, Beverly Hills. To me, that's like the freaking top tier of success is living in the North Side or North End Tacoma. All right, guys. So on to the honorable mentions. First, I'm going to mention some snapbacks. I think they're all snapbacks that are near and dear to my heart. And after this little Tacoma spill, you'll see why. We got the floral Tacoma stars. La, 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 la. I don't know why I almost said Tacoma snars, but Tacoma stars snapback. Actually, uh, Paul found this while he was here. He thrifted this, so shout out to him. Super dope vintage piece. Obviously, I'm from Tacoma. My last name is Star with two R's, so that hat just kind of means something to me. I have another Tacoma stars snapback that I think made it in my last year's top five, or I mentioned it last year as well. But that hat's always gonna mean something to me. It's always gonna be in the personal collection. Then we have some other personals right here. We have the Tacoma Rainier snapback. This hat means a a lot to me and the reason for that well there's two reasons one is because Paul Cantu actually found this for me in Texas which is super weird and the embroidery is on point just look at that embroidery oh my god and the second reason this is a big deal to me is because as a kid whenever my school would hand out free Rainier tickets I would always go to the games and uh, yeah I don't know man I just that was like a really cool thing that I did when I was a kid and to me that was like a really big deal that may not be a big deal to some of you guys I don't know your background but when I was a kid, we didn't go on big, lavish trips, so there's really a couple things from my childhood that I really cherish, and it's my Saturday morning drives with my mom, which we would go just to a city that's nearby, like 30 minutes away. We would just wake up early, we would just go on a drive, and we'd basically just window shop all morning, which is kind of weird, but it's something that I enjoyed doing because I was with my mother at the time, and it was just kind of like me and her doing our own little thing as a kid, and then going to Rainier and Saber Cat Games, and uh, yeah, I'm always looking for Tacoma apparel. I appreciate that I'm at a point now where people send me Tacoma apparel. I have vintage Rainier's gear, vintage Star's gear, I have vintage Rocket's gear, which is the fourth one. Nice little transition into this hat. Anyways, this was actually sent to me from a fan as well, Tacoma Rockets Hockey Club. You got this little... Uh, thing going on right here you got this custom brim or I think it might have came like that because you also got the button that matches it as well but overall super dope I also got Rockets jerseys freaking I don't know bless up thank you guys I appreciate you for everything that you do and the last honorable mentions are of course the beanies we'll mention this one kind of even though I wish this was a true black this right here is definitely a staple you guys always ask about this the little supreme cursive beanie I wear this <laughs> I wear this thing way too much. And then the other one is a new one that I actually have not shown off yet. This is going to be in the new Supreme Haul. So if you guys want to see the next Supreme Haul, definitely hit that like button down below. And if you want to see a top five sneaker video, definitely hit that like button down below. But it's this right here, the Supreme Tonal Beanie. You can see just barely, I don't even know if you can see it. It might be too dark, but it has Supreme like black on black. The only difference is the same color of black, but it's just like a different weave where the Supreme is. So you can barely even read it. Like even in good lighting, you can just barely read it. But it's kind of dope because it's discreet and that's how I like, you know, I like to flex discreetly. I don't like, you know, high key, loud flexing. That's why I'm always wearing black with almost everything I wear. But anyways, the reason that this made it on there, even though I don't like the way this fits, is this got the fleece interior inside of it. And oh my goodness, it's so comfortable. But that's the top five plus some really important honorable mentions. So uh, yeah.
Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Like I said earlier, if you're not subscribed, change that. Hit that subscribe button, that little red box logo that says subscribe inside of it. And then also, if you do not follow me on Instagram, change that as well. My Instagram is at the Star Life. There'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. I will be styling some of these pieces, especially the beanies on my Instagram. So definitely follow me and see how I rock them. But just in general, I'm telling you guys, my Instagram is fire. I got a lot of great content on there and I have a lot of great content coming. I'm telling you, the pictures I took the other day when I hiked up Mount Si are so freaking insane. I showed you guys on Instagram Live because I've been doing Instagram Live almost every single day and I showed you guys some of the pictures and even you guys were like, oh my God, those are like next level. They literally look like North Face or Adidas, but since I'm wearing FTP, it's like an FTP North Face ad. It's freaking crazy. And yes, I'm hiking to the top of these crazy ass mountains wearing FTP. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Like I said earlier, as always, keep living the star life.